Hey guys, it's Thick and Curly coming back for an update. As you can see, my hair is out. Today is... What is it? March 25th? <laughs> it's March 25th, which means I have been 10 months into my year of protective styling. I just took my Senegalese twist out about 30 minutes ago. I went to the store to buy my weave for tomorrow morning. And I'm doing a quick video. Um, of course, my hair doesn't look very long. But it's been stretched out for the past nine weeks in um, Senegalese twist. So, of course, when it wets up, it's going to shrivel up. Has it grown? Yes, it's grown a great deal. I had it straightened um, for two weeks during this journey. And it's longer wavy like this than it was when it was straightened. So, I, it's definitely grown. Uh, once I finish my one year of protective styling, that will make me four years natural. I literally can't believe it. I remember going natural and saying, I'm going to do at least five years of being natural before I go back to a relaxer or cut my natural hair or whatever. Needless to say, I'm not going back to a relaxer, but I just can't believe that five years is right around the corner. So I'm really excited about that. Tomorrow, my stylist is going to put in this. It's uh, Pro 10 Bohemian Curl 12 inch 1B. That's the picture. I have two videos about this hair. One is just introducing it. One is a product review. Um, this hair is a hair I used when I did my first sew in on my hair, on my, myself. I was really excited about it. Um, but I'm going to her tomorrow to get the real deal. Because, um, of course, she can do better than me. Watch the other video that will, you know, show you how the hair looks and stuff. I can show you really quick. This time I'm going to have less of my hair out. But, yeah, that's the plan. So I'll wear that for a month, maybe two. But once it's two months is up. Um, I'm done. It's going to be around May 28th. I really don't know what day I exactly put my micros in. But if you go back to my three-year natural journey video, that video was done on May 26th because it was my three-year anniversary. Shortly after that, I got micros. I'm not sure if it was like two days or a week. But it was between May 26th and a week after that that I got my protective styles in. And for an entire year, well, 10 months, I've worn protective styling. Today is Friday. I just took my twist out. Tomorrow morning at 8.30, I'm getting my weave put in. That's how my journey has been this year. Like I've said repeatedly in other videos, I've done, um, I wore my hair out two weeks, straightened, just to get my ends trimmed and a length check. Other than that, I've seen my hair for maybe two days max. My routine has literally been Friday taking it out, Saturday morning getting it done. Um, why am I doing it? I did this 12 months month of protective styling because I was bored. I wanted to do something different. Um, I wonder if this is recording. Just had to check. <laughs> the light went off. Um, I was bored with my natural hair. I was bored with my hair. And I was just like, I want to do something to, to fall back in love with my hair. I said, hmm, let me do a year of protective styling. And, and that was it. It was no aha moment. It was just me being bored. And when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. So being that I said a year, I'm going to do a full year, not a day shy of a year. So I at least have to get to May 26. So um, that's that. This is the back. Again, it is really long right now because it's been stretched out by the twist. But um, it's actually solidified right now. But this concoction has saved my life. I wish you guys could feel my hair right now. You may, I'm not sure, can look at it and see that it's not brittle or dry at all. And I've had these styles in. I say that to say most time, most of the time people get weaves and braids and protective styles. They don't manage or take care of their natural hair underneath. You have to do that. That defeats the purpose of a protective style. You have to keep it moisturized. You have to keep your scalp clean, your weave clean, all of that. The concoction I've been using, I absolutely love. It is coconut oil, peppermint oil, vegetable glycerin, and a little bit of shea butter. This uh, vegetable glycerin I got from a health food store here. This peppermint oil I got from a health food store here. You can get them from Whole Foods or any health food store near you.